What would be your best three wishes if you had the chance to wish for anything in this world? Welcome to Magician Recaps Explains. Today we are recapping a 2019 fantasy and musical movie. Let's jump right into it. Aladdin, who regularly steals the get by with the aid of his pet monkey, Abu. One day, while roaming the streets, Aladdin spots a beautiful girl who gets in trouble after giving away bread to children without paying. Aladdin comes to her rescue and decides to settle the situation by giving the bread owner the bracelet of the girl. But he later stole it back, and together they get chased by the royal guards. After a while, they elude their pursuers, and Aladdin takes the girl to his place for some tea. The girl calls herself Delia, and is the handmaiden to the princess of Agraba. She suddenly has to leave, as another suitor for the princess, Prince Anders, arrives. Dahlia realizes that her bracelet has been stolen again, but she needed to go. Aladdin finds out that Abu stole it, and promises to return the bracelet. Dahlia happens to be Princess Jasmine, and Dahlia is the name of her handmaid and best friend. Meanwhile, the Sultan's trusted counselor, Jafar, is plotting to overthrow the Sultan by getting his hands on the magic lamp. However, it is hidden in an enchanted cave of wonders, and only the diamond in the rough may enter, which he is not. So, he spends weeks searching for this diamond in the rough. One evening in the palace, after turning down Prince Sander's hand in marriage, Aladdin sneaks into the palace, and Jasmine receives a surprise visit from him, who has come to return her mother's bracelet, which Abu stole. Still thinking she's Delia, he leaves her with a promise to meet her again. Meanwhile, Aladdin was seen by Jafar, and he is caught by the royal guards. The next day, Aladdin finds himself in the desert with Jafar, who assumes that he is the diamond in the rough. He tells Aladdin that the girl he met was the princess, and that he can make him rich enough to impress her, if he helps him retrieve the lamp. He persuades Aladdin to believe that he was like him. By evening, they arrive at the cave, and since Aladdin is the diamond in the rough, he is permitted to enter the cave safely. The Cave of Wonders is filled with wondrous treasures that tempt both Aladdin and Abu. However, they have been warned to only retrieve the lamp and not to be tempted by the treasure, otherwise they would be trapped inside the cave forever. Along the way, they meet a magic carpet which was stuck and trapped by a huge rock. Aladdin frees it and find the lamp. However, Abu becomes tempted by a big shiny ruby and takes it. This angers the spirit of the cave and starts to cave in. Aladdin and Abu barely make it back with Carpet's help. Aladdin gives the lamp to Jafar, who pushes him back into the cave, and end up trapped in the cave after Jafar takes the lamp and betrays him. Later, Jafar realizes that the lamp is not with him. Trapped inside the cave, Abu reveals that he stole the lamp back from Jafar. Aladdin notices the lamp is a bit dusty and gives it a rub. This causes the lamp to release a powerful genie, who can grant him three wishes, as long as he is holding the lamp. Aladdin wishes to escape from the cave, though he makes a wish without holding the lamp, keeping his three wishes intact, and both he, Genie, Abu and Carpet find themselves in the middle of the desert. After seeing Genie's potential, Aladdin was worried that he can't marry a princess since he's not a prince. Therefore, Aladdin wishes to become a prince, in the hopes that he can be with Princess Jasmine. Genie transforms him into Prince Ali, and parade to the Sultan's palace, where the Sultan welcomes him. Aladdin starts off a bit awkward being a prince, and trying to impress Jasmine, especially when Genie has him dance spectacularly in front of the princess. Instead of being impressed, she just leaves. Meanwhile, Jafar becomes suspicious of Prince Ali. Later, Aladdin decides to go and see Jasmine in her room, while Genie takes Delia out for a late night stroll. By just being himself, Aladdin takes Jasmine on a magic carpet ride, where the two of them become close. While watching the village people from above, Jasmine figures out that Ali is Aladdin, but he manages to convince her that he is really a prince, and that he dresses as a commoner to escape palace life. Then he takes Jasmine back to the palace, and they share their first kiss. Meanwhile, they are seen by Jafar's parrot, Lago. The next day however, Jafar captures Aladdin, who has figured out who he really is. He threatens to have him thrown into bay, unless he tells him where the lamp is, when Aladdin denies everything, Jafar personally pushes him out of his tower and falls into the sea. Abu and Carpet arrive with the lamp, and Aladdin manages to rub it before drowning. Genie rescues Aladdin, and after speaking with Jasmine, they confront the Sultan of Jafar's treachery. Jafar tries to hypnotize the Sultan into thinking they are lying, but Aladdin destroys his staff, proving to the Sultan of Jafar's treachery. He is taken to the dungeon 
but escapes after his parrot sidekick, Iago brings him the keys. Meanwhile, the Sultan thanks Aladdin for revealing Jafar's treachery, and would be happy to have him marry his daughter. This makes Aladdin decide not to use his last wish to set Genie free, as he promised, as he believes he cannot keep up being a prince without him. Genie is disappointed that Aladdin wants to continue living a lie, and retreats to his lamp. Aladdin goes back to his old home in deep thought, and comes to see that Genie is right. He needs to tell Jasmine the truth. Just then, he realizes the lamp is gone and is now in Jafar's possession. Jafar rubs the lamp and the Genie comes out. The Genie wasn't happy seeing Jafar, but he has no choice. In the palace, Jafar wishes to become Sultan, but when the guards refuse to obey him, he uses his second wish to become a sorcerer. He banishes Aladdin to the ends of the earth, and threatens to kill Dahlia and the Sultan, unless Jasmine agrees to marry him. However, Genie sends Carpet to find Aladdin and Abu. As they proceed with the wedding ceremony, Jasmine notices Aladdin coming on Carpet. She plays along with the wedding, and once she gets close enough to Jafar, she swipes the lamp from him, and jumps onto Carpet. Jafar sends Zago after them, turning him into a giant parrot. They almost lose the lamp during the chase, but get it back. However, Iago steals it back, but then loses it when the Sultan interrupts Jafar's sorcery on him. He changes back into a regular parrot. However, Jafar then casts a sand twister that capture Aladdin and Jasmine, and brings them back to him. Jafar now has them at his mercy, declaring himself, the most powerful man in the world. However, Aladdin retorts by claiming, Jafar is not as powerful as he wishes to believe. The genie remains the most powerful being in the universe, as he gave Jafar his power in the first place, and can also take it away. Realizing what Aladdin says is true and that he is still just second best, Jafar uses his final wish to become an all-powerful genie. Seeing Aladdin's cunning plan, genie grants his wish, turning Jafar into a monstrously powerful genie. With phenomenal, cosmic power at his command, Jafar declares himself ruler of the universe. However, as pointed out by Aladdin, the power of a genie comes with a price. A genie without a master goes into his lamp. Jafar receives his own golden shackles and a lamp prison, which sucks him inside along with Iago. Foiled and trapped by his own greed, Jafar's magic over Agrabah is undone. As for Jafar's lamp, genie sends it flying to the Cave of Wonders, where the bickering Jafar and Iago would be forced to remain as prisoners for many years. Aladdin apologies to Jasmine and the Sultan for deceiving them, and is just about to leave until Genie reminds him that he has one wish left to make himself a prince again, or erase the law of a prince marrying a princess. However, Aladdin decides to use last wish to set Genie free. Genie decides to spend his freedom, seeing the world with Dahlia, who he has fallen in love with, and have children together. The Sultan has decided to pass his crown on to Jasmine, making her the Sultan of Agraba. Meanwhile, Aladdin sneaks away unnoticed, still thinking he is not right for Jasmine. However, she catches up with him, and the two embrace and later marry. That's all for this marvelous movie. Just like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and entertaining movies.